Hi, my name is Keith Milner. I live in England near a place called Reading, which is about 30 miles to the west of London, and I've had a keen interest in music and music technology for many years. I'm going to talk to you today about the Arda 3 DAW channel strip, including the signal flow and some of the features of the channel strip. The Arda 3 channel strip can be found in two places within Arda 3. The first one is within the mixer window, which shows all the individual tracks. The other place is within the Arda 3 main window, where it can be brought up alongside the tracks to, to the left. It is known as an editor mixer channel strip, and that can be selected from either the view menu or by using the key combination Shift E. The Arda 3 channel strip is structured as follows. At the top, there is a section for the input stages and processing. That's followed by a small section in the middle with various settings. At the bottom is the mixer for the gain and level, and at the bottom is the output. So the approximate signal flow for the Arda 3 channel strip is top to bottom, just like with most other DAWs. Let's have a closer look at the Arda 3 channel strips. This is the mixer window from a project which has a number of tracks set up, some of which are stereo, some of which are mono. There's a submix bus at the end and there's a master channel strip at the end as well. If we look at a particular channel strip, this is a mono one. You see at the top it has the track name. It has the input. There's only one input here because it's mono. If it was a stereo one like the synth one here, you see it has two inputs. For each channel in the track, there is a phase reversal button. So for a stereo track, there's two, one for left, one for right. The phase reversal button is actually very useful for if you're recording the same source from multiple microphones, because depending on the placement, one of the microphones may be out of phase with the other. Then beneath that, there's an area which is designed for processors, plugins, sends, inserts, and so on. And in each one, the fader is represented by a uh, blue block. So that represents the fader here. And then items can be placed before the fader, so pre-fader, or after the fader, post-fader. And they can be dragged and dropped to move them into different positions if you want to. So in this case, I have a, a DSA plugin placed before the fader, and I have a reverb plugin placed after the fader. For each item, there is also a little icon which can be clicked to enable or disable or bypass the plugin. In the synth case, we don't have any plugins at all, so we just have the fader item. In the kick drum, the main kit and the room kit ones, we have a submix. Uh, bus send, which is basically sending the outputs of these post fader to this submix bus. The amount of send can be controlled using this little fader here. So we can balance those and mix them. After the processor section is the panning area. So this allows you to pan uh, the track left and right. Beneath that, there's another area here which has got various settings for the channel. So things like being able to mute it, solo it, record arm it, and so on. The in and disk are used for monitoring and they allow you to configure how the monitoring works for a uh, software controlled monitored track. Beneath that section, we have the fader and a meter. The fader can be controlled using the mouse or using some kind of control surface. And the uh, meter, we can actually select a number of different meters, such as peak or K20 or so on. Underneath the fader, we have fader automation, so we can arm or disarm that and set different settings. Uh, we also have a button to set the metering point, so that can be the input, the output, pre, post, and so on. And finally, right at the bottom, we have the output which in this case is, is set towards the master bus, which, which is fairly standard, but it could be set directly to the auxiliary input of a bus, or it could be set directly to a sound card output. And that's the Arda 3 channel strip.